Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. This is Tangelis Oracle, and I want to thank the new subscribers. Thank you for coming to join me today. Don't forget to like, share the channel and the videos. Now, today I'm going to be doing a reading on Marissa Carmichael. I already did one on her previously, but I'm coming back to do another one. Now, she has been missing since January 14th of this year. They have not found her. They don't have any leads or anything like that. So... I wanted to come back and do another one on her. So with her, um, I'm picking up that she went, she was going through a lot of things that she may not have talked about. And it has to relate to her relationships that she were she was in. Um, they may not have been the best. She may, she she got connected with some people that she probably shouldn't be shouldn't have been connected with. OK, because they wasn't helping her out of the state that she was in, the emotional state that she was in. So. Um, now, I know she had five children, but I don't know if they were all by the same guy. OK, but it's some guy in here that she was dealing with um, that was not the best to her. OK, and and that and she probably uh, encountered somebody else previously before to get her on this track in her younger years um, to cause her to go the route that she's going, whether she talked about that or not. Um, and it's, that's dealing with a man, okay, in her younger years. So with her, her being missing, I believe that she met somebody, whoever this person is, is somebody that she knows and she has some type of history with this person. She may not have expected this person to be this way, but I think this person has been watching her. And when I mean watching her, I don't mean stalking. I mean watching her and like watching her in a, a sexual type of way. Like they may have been infatuated with her or uh, wanted her in a sexual way whether she knew that or not, okay? But here is an older man here who could have been looking at her. and But she was looking at this person as somebody like, oh, okay, this is somebody, I'm just saying, she could have been looking at this person as somebody that is looking out for her, but they was They were looking out for themselves. Uh, but this man could be connected to her mother. So I think this is somebody that she knows that knows the family as well. Because it could be a friend of the family. But, and I, the way the reason why I say that somebody could be older than her, because I think it's maybe somewhere, somewhere, somebody that's around her mother's age or older than the mother by a few years. I don't know how old her mother is, but if she's 25, she got to be at least 40-something. Uh, okay. So, now, she met up with this person. And then if it's the case that she needed a ride, she called this person. Or this person just happened to show up, but this person heard that she needed a ride or whatever. And they, they took the, the opportunity to go up there. And they probably made a pass to her because she was in the right state. Because I said, this person has been waiting on the opportunity, waiting on her to be in the right state of mind to get what they want from her. And even if they had already been getting it from her, but previously, maybe it was a situation too where it wasn't the right time that at that moment for her, if you understand. Okay. Um, but this man, like I said, has been watching her. And this man, like I said, could be connected to her mother either stepfather, ex-boyfriend, or somebody this mother probably could have dated, an older man connected to the mother, whoever, a friend of hers, whatever, however you want to put it. Um, and it was a sexual assault. That's what this is about, a sexual assault. Okay. So, anyway, so whoever this man is, he has been, like, had his eye on her for a minute. He'd been wanting her for a minute. He hadn't already been with her. Okay, so let me pull a few cards. And like I said, everything in this video is allegedly, this is what I'm getting. Okay, 
from the spirit and also from the cards. So I'm going to pull some cards on her to see what comes out with her. And remember, she has five children that is missing their mother. Okay, so what I'm getting, I get violence. The first card that comes out is talking about violence here. And then I have somebody that you have love for. And then I have a boyfriend, husband, or fiance. So somebody's husband, somebody's boyfriend. Okay, like I said. And then you have somebody being heartless, or this is somebody who's going through a lot at that time. And it's like, you had enough, okay? And you you no longer can handle it. So it's like you, you numb yourself, okay? And then I have here somebody being naive to the situation or somebody that you enjoy spending time with, okay? And this person that you enjoy spending time with is a male, somebody's it was her boyfriend. I don't know if she was dating anybody. Her boyfriend, somebody she looked as a boyfriend, hus somebody's husband, that they, somebody had love for this person. So that means you care about them, okay? But also this violence is coming from somebody who was not, like I say, I don't, I don't feel like it today. Okay, I'm, I had enough of some, so, so this is somebody who's had enough emotionally. Okay, but it's also connected to somebody that they had love for. All right, so let's get some clarity. Violence. Okay, so with that violence, I have somebody switching up on you. OK, so this person is acting in a different way than that they would normally act. So if like, like I already just said, OK, that's where the violence is coming from. We have a liar and somebody being deceptive. And I have drug use or illegal activities. So this violence is coming from somebody that she knows, like I said, because this person is switched up on you. This person can't switch up on you if you don't know them. So somebody switched up on you, acting different towards you now. This person is lying and being deceptive. Also, you can't lie unless somebody asks you. And there's some illegal activities. So this person could be lying about some legal activities that they had going on, lying about the violence, okay, that they've done. Now. Now, with the person that you have love for, the card that I got coming out with that is I call it my hustler card. No, I mean you hustling. It just means that you live your life or you or you do different things for work. Like you don't have a regular job. You don't have a, 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 a stable place that you go home to every day. You you live in your life in a different type of way. Okay, I got that coming out with the person that you have love for. That person has love for you. All right, so now with that, I have somebody that's secretly admired. So you admire this person. There's something about this person that you like. So this person could be somebody that she had, she liked something about this person, or this person likes something about her. Okay. But then this person is a hidden enemy. Like I said, this person is a friend of the family, somebody that the family knows. And they have a goal in mind. Like I said, they've been watching her, they had an eye, their eye on her already. Because they kind of saw, if they're friends with the family, they can see what she's going through. Because like I said, she's going through some things and she's already been abused prior. Okay, so now somebody's boyfriend, husband, or their fiance, and like I said, it's somebody either that the, the mother knows, her boyfriend, her husband, somebody she's dealing with, okay, because it's somebody that somebody is committed to, 
they were in a committed relationship or you made some commitments to this person, some vows to this person, y'all, y'all just in a relationship. You don't have to be married. Okay. And then this person here is telling the truth. So whatever they're telling you is the honest thing. So with this, you have this boyfriend that you committed to. So somebody confessed some things or told somebody something. They didn't lie about it. That don't mean that they told you what you need to know. It's just whatever you just happen to ask them, they didn't lie about certain things or aspects of that. Okay. And I'm going to pull another card because I got a liar over here. Somebody being a hidden enemy. Okay, so let's see what this is. Okay, so somebody, like I said, be honest about some things. Sexual activity. Someone from a different culture or background. And an illness, sickness, or disease. Okay, so whoever... Whatever this person that you are, this male that, that somebody is committed to is a sexual partner that could be of a, a different race, okay? But this person also has some type of illness, sickness, or disease, or an addiction. So they're dealing with something. So this person may have, that's what this person could have been honest about. Like, you know, I got some things going on. Yeah, I may have been doing certain things sexual activity. I'm a sexual partner of hers. Yes, whatever the situation is. Okay. They may be telling the truth about that, but they're not telling you everything. Because I got too many lies going on in here. So, yeah. so. Okay, so now I have somebody that's being naive to the situation or this is somebody you enjoy time with, but I got secrets with that. So this is somebody that you're dealing with that is a secret. Like I said, you may not know because she held a lot of secrets too of who she was dealing with. You might not know everything. And it's connected to this. So this person may have told Marissa the truth about some things. But this person was in a relationship that she was dealing with. That's why this person is a liar. But see, now the secret, now you got a fade in relationship. So something happened between her and this person that they got these secrets going on. So now they got a falling out. Something happened with them. But it's somebody that either she didn't realize the situation that she was in or this is somebody she had been dealing with for some time. Because this is somebody you enjoy spending time with as well. So you could have been spending time with this person, but it was in secret. But now y'all had a falling out or something happened between y'all. Okay. Now with this, like I said, somebody is not, it's like you, you done emotionally. Here you got somebody going along with a situation, being submissive to somebody. Like you, you don't do anything to stop a situation or it's like, yeah, okay, we, we do whatever. Cause you know, you just ain't in your mind is not in the right space. So you just doing whatever you need to do. And then you have somebody crossing over. So somebody could have assisted this person here. With this, this is somebody passing away, but you got somebody being submissive to it. That means somebody could have could have been assisting you, or could have assisted you in some way. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Now I have here these two cards coming out to clarify submissive. Somebody going along with something, a hidden. Uh, some corrupt things, some hidden corrupt things. So, so you got somebody coming to help you with some things that you shouldn't be doing. And it's because you didn't get what you wanted from this person. Okay. So like I said, you may, even if they had been dealing, it's like today, I don't feel like it. Okay. And so this person decides they do. Okay. So um, we got that coming out with her on that. Now I'm going to go into these other cards, see what comes out.
So now I have this, somebody dealing with something internally or um, this could be an actual physical fight. But every most of the time when this comes out, it just means that somebody is battling some things internally that they're fighting. Somebody could be fighting demons. They could be fighting some type of emotional trauma, whatever it is that they're dealing with. Um, and then here you have somebody being obsessed. Like I said, this person was watching her, waiting on the opportunity. So you got somebody obsessed doing obsessive things, okay? Somebody battling with some things internally. And then you have somebody alive being aware of certain things, or this is why this person was alive, while she was alive, that somebody was obsessed with her, okay? But she was also dealing with some things. But then you got somebody being aware of a situation as well. Somebody could have been aware that she's dealing with some things and that's why they became obsessed with her, okay? Okay, so I got the moon coming out and the moon is just deceptions, things that are hidden away from us. So there were some things, like I said, that she was dealing with that nobody knew about that she kept to herself. So she was dealing with, battling with some things internally that she kept from other people that, that she didn't outwardly share, okay? Then you have somebody being obsessed and here is the animal. So um, this is like somebody giving you harsh treatment. So that obsession led to some type of harsh treatment, okay? And then I have the 10, which means a transition, okay? So you transition from here to this. So there's some, you move from one thing to another. So with this, this person could be alive and now they're transitioned, but also somebody is aware of a transition as well. Because we already had this. Somebody had crossed over already. Now, let's see what else. And transitions, I mean endings, like an uh, end of something. So now I have this coming out. So you had a prior conflict that you were dealing with. Some things happened previously that you was dealing with. This is what you were battling, but you kept it hidden. So you're dealing with some things here that happened previously to you, okay? Then I had this. That means that you don't want people to know or it's unknown or someone unknown or an unknown place. But see here, you had a prior conflict. So you could have had a prior conflict that you were dealing with, but also you could have had a prior conflict with this person that was not known, that nobody didn't know that y'all had a dealing. So it was unknown also that this person was obsessed with her. They couldn't let whatever happened go. So whatever they were dealing with, somebody couldn't let it, let it go. And then here you had the harsh treatment coming from that. And then also I have the trafficking, which is any type of illegal activity that's going on here while she was alive or somebody is aware of the illegal activity that was going on that led to the ending of her being here. OK.
Okay. So here I have this. This means that somebody is like locked up, right? But it also means that somebody has you detained. That was somebody could have used some type of tactic to hold you. Like somebody could have like held you. Like somebody could have took her somewhere and held her somewhere, but they used some type of tactic to get her there with the moon there. And they could have, because they had a, a prior conflict. So you could have got into it with this person earlier, but then they used some type of tactic to get you somewhere and keep you from going somewhere else or keeping you held somewhere, right? And then I have to relocate. So that means you took this person somewhere else. So you kept this person here. So somebody could have kept her somewhere and took her somewhere else. So that means I'm not letting you go. I'm detaining you and I'm taking you somewhere else. Okay, because here I have a social event. So this is something that happened when, when she was at some type of social event, a gathering, a party or, or whatever, okay, with other people. Okay, so she was here. Somebody took her somewhere else, but they it's like they, they try to keep her. Okay. And here at the social event, that that's where it came to an end. Okay. That's what that this is what this is for. Okay, because see some trafficking with some illegal activity was going on while she was alive, and then other people are aware someone that some that person is aware, like they, they know what they were doing. So now I have the fire. This is the intensity of a situation. So it was an intense situation, whatever the conflict was. Okay, it was intense. And then here you were already, she was already battling some things anyway, dealing with some things anyway that was kind of stressful to her right here. So you got your own personal stuff going on and then now you get into it with somebody else or y'all have you have a conflict with somebody else and now it's like, I'm upset, okay? Um, and then I have the success coming out next to the fire and then next to the fire and the success is this. So this means that somebody is doing something to cause harm to you. But with the success, I have somebody being obsessed. So somebody was obsessed with achieving something. So somebody had something that they had in mind that they wanted to do. Okay. But they they could have kept it to themselves. They didn't want her to know. They didn't want nobody else to know whatever it was that they were trying to do um, here. Or maybe they were successful in covering up some things because here I got somebody doing something or doing intently doing something to cause you some type of harm. So somebody could be doing some type of ritualistic thing. Now, I don't mean voodoo just because like, you have this car here. It just means somebody doing certain things like I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that so I can cause this person to have this to happen to them. It could be as simple as that. So this is what this, but it's to cause you some type of harm because I have that with this. Okay. And I think they said her mom says that she could have been in human trafficking it could have been a situation like that. Like that could have been what they wanted to do, but maybe it didn't work out how they thought. Those cards can be out of any Okay, so now I have the accident happening. It says it looks like a car accident. It could be a car accident, or it could just be something that was not planned. 
Okay, so you have that with the detain and the hidden. Okay, secrets, deception. So whatever this person was hiding and they were trying, while they were trying, or like the deception in it, people not being aware of certain things. Somebody trying to detain you, keep you somewhere and something happened that was not meant to happen. So like I said, they could have planned one thing, but something else happened to cause things to shift. And then the accident is connected to this. When, and this means that anything that has led to the death of worldwide, too many people dying worldwide, don't mean like a, a mass war. It could just mean like domestic violence, drunk driving, you know, all of those type of things that happen all the time every day that cause people to lose their life. So that's what this is, but it's an accident. It wasn't meant to happen, but it's a result of this. And then see, they're trying to take her to a different place. She could be somewhere where animals are, but it's also the harsh treatment that she got when um, they was doing whatever they were doing here. And then here, this means that somebody is living a double life. They don't want you to know what's going on. They may be living one way over here and another way when they're with you. So you don't always know what these people got going on behind closed doors. So it's some things hidden here. Then you have that when she's at this social event. That's where these things came to an end. Okay. So that means where one thing ended and led to something else. And then also with this, we have this, the double life, people planning and doing things to cause you harm. But with this, we have somebody being successful in what they were doing. Whatever this was, they did to her, okay? Put these cards. Okay. So these are the cards that fell out. Okay. All right. I got this. So somebody taking you somewhere against your will. You know what a kidnap is. Or this just means somebody take you somewhere. And when you get there, they won't let you go. But then here, this, these two came out together. This means somebody kidnapped you, like I just said, you're being kidnapped, you're being taken somewhere. But this means that your soul has been returned to the sender. So that means you passed away and your soul is gone. Okay. So when somebody took you, this is what happened. Okay. I don't need to really clarify that. There's something else I want to look into. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. So I want to pull a couple parts on this boyfriend. The trafficking and the up uh, no, that's not the one I want. Not obsessed. Um That one. Okay. On this prior conflict. All right. So this boyfriend. Boyfriend, husband, fiance, okay, whatever the situation is, whoever this person is. Now with that, I have this. So this is who she met up with. This is you meeting with somebody. You met up with this man. Okay. This see, this is a meeting because they got a message from you. So you got a um, some news, a, a message, information. Somebody said something to you with this man, and so now y'all meet up. Okay. But see, it was a message of concern. So she called this person, whoever this man is, she called him because she was concerned. Okay, about, and then he, so she sent a, a message to him that was concerning. So, oh, I need help or I need somebody to come pick me up, whatever the situation is, okay? And they met up. Okay. 
Gross. See, somebody took something. You got a thief. Thief meaning somebody is taking something away from you. Then I got the court. So the thief can take anything. But it could be your life or whatever. But then you got the court. This is anything that will cause somebody. So um, let's just say uh, I got to go to court because I got a traffic ticket or I, I got to go to court because I got to deal with this issue, child support, whatever the situation is. OK, you got that going on. So this is just telling you about the man. Then see, once again, like I said, this is somebody's husband because I got a marriage. So that's somebody's man. OK. That's who this person is right here. This boyfriend, husband, fiance. OK, so this person, they could have been going through a divorce or they could have been they could have been in the this person could be married and have a, a record or something in the court. They could have been to court before. They could have had a suspended license, whatever. Okay. They could have been to, went to court for stealing. Okay. So we got that going on with that man. Because we've already got the hustle card coming out. So that means they just doing all types of shit. I mean, stuff. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we got the trafficking card is next. Okay. So let's see what this trafficking that's the illegal activity that's going on that probably could be why that person has a record so here with the trafficking card i got this and this just means that people are coming together to discuss something so they're talking about this illegal activity that they're planning to do somebody is talking about it and you have an older woman here you got an older woman and then you have a wealthy man okay we pause to get these cards Okay, so you have a, with this illegal activity, you have somebody discussing it, okay? You got some people talking about this illegal activity. Who's talking about it? You have a man and a woman here talking about something. Now, this is an older woman and a man here. This is the man with the money. They're talking about some illegal activities that this, they got going on. So somebody is out here setting this up. Got a false person. So somebody is hiding. And once again, I got that marriage at the bottom. Okay. So whoever this man and this woman is, they, they could be a couple and they up there talking about what they're going to do, but they're hiding who they really are. So they may have planned to do this, like I said, because they're talking about the illegal activities. And now with the prior conflict, let's see what's coming out with that. Somebody saying that they're going to do something for you as it relate to a court case or something that you had to go to court for. Before. So somebody had a prior run in probably with the police or the authorities or something like that. But then it's like we want you to do something for us. Because see, we got the false person right here coming back out again, connected to that. And then this is them taking you somewhere here because you're going on a journey somewhere. OK. So it's like they're trying to get you to to um, they're doing something for you or they want you to do something for them as it relates to a court case. So, so a gift is somebody doing something for you. But it's coming out with the court. So tell them I didn't do this. Say I was over here. Don't let them know this. It could be anything like that. Lie for me. Be a false person. OK, we want to take you somewhere. You're going to be a false person. So I want you to come over here and do something for me. But you had a prior conflict 
or something with this person. Okay, girls. See, you have this person being concerned about something. So they want, it's like they, this person wants you to do something for you. So then maybe you don't want to do it. Because see, the first time I got somebody not getting what they want, or somebody being submissive. So that means that I want you to do something, but you don't want to do it. That's what the conflict is. Okay. So that's what I got on Marissa. Okay. So. You can leave your comments in the comment section and uh, thank you for watching.